Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys another character update. Now, before I go into this update, I just want to say, what do you guys want to see as another video? Um, I was thinking of making like another top 10 tips just for Righteous Fire players or potentially a video discussing gear priority. I do have these explained on my website, but since I just get so many questions about them, it would just be easier for me to forward people to a video. So let me know in the comments below kind of something what you want. Uh, but without further ado, let us get started. So, um, you know, I took uh, not any time off, but I haven't been playing as much recently. So, you know, the time has jumped down from like 15 hours to like six to 10 hour days of playing. So um, the upgrades are going to come a little bit slower. And I want to explain the next part of the skill tree that we've done. So I have went ahead and fit in a cluster jewel. Now, the purpose of this cluster jewel is for the sake of it being three property. It is not the same cluster jewel in my POB as when you are crafting in POE. Oftentimes, you are not going to end up with the exact same outcome, right? But nonetheless, it is a cluster jewel that is usable. So, for example, I have Prismatic Heart. I find Prismatic Heart to be, in my opinion, the best uh, overall because when you are going Melding of the Flesh, Prismatic Heart really helps with the resistances. Also, 30 Ellie is just very big. Uh, then I have Sadist. My opinion, Sadist is insane for mapping. Why? Well, chilling enemies happens every time I Frost Blink. Um, igniting happens literally by itself and shocking happens by itself. I say that because I have an abyssal jewel that gives flat fire damage. And the reason for this abyssal jewel is it makes it so that my frost blink and my tempest shield actually do fire damage. Uh, so they do a little bit of fire. So for example, this is fire and lightning. That fire damage now rolls your chance to shock on the tree and also scales with your crit chance from like your uber, uh, uber lab ascendancy. And this also makes it so that my frost blink is able to apply combustion because it has some fire damage remember without any fire damage it cannot ignite uh this is like a more end game setup it's not something you have to do early right it's just to squeeze extra boss damage <laughs> okay moving on a little further um i have like disorienting display in the back i don't see this being worth the two points whatsoever um due to budget right now i'm running two flow of life vial reinvigoration I do believe the price of these already has shot up from 40c to multi divine so i would not go with this i personally find a flow of life to be the best small cluster or, or medium but you can go with literally anything you want like burning brights if you're going aoe student of decay i think is bis because it gives chaos res uh, but there's a lot of options there uh, then i have my melding of the flesh allocated right here so i did take a bit of a damage loss and then I wasn't able to fit all my auras in, so I'm using a small cluster right now. So I have uncompromising. Realistically, I think Mortifying Aspect or Pure Guile are much better. Mortifying Aspect is uh, Chaos Res with Malevolence Reservation. Pure Guile is Purity of Ice Reservation with 20 Dexterity. The 20 Dex would allow me to drop this, and the Mortifying Aspect would allow me to drop my Amethyst Flask. So that's definitely something that we're working on gearing up. Uh, because I have this node at the moment, I actually do not need this, um, which is the Determination Mono Mastery. And on top of that, I did go ahead and buy an Enlighten uh, just to try to squeeze the rest of my auras in. So at the moment, we are currently running Tempest Shield, Purity of Ice, Malevolence, Skitter Bot, and Determination. And I only have a 7% Mana Reservation Efficiency roll, but this is requiring an Enlighten, a small Cluster Jewel, and the charisma anoint but boy let me tell you it is worth it so currently we are rocking 87 all res this can go up much higher if i were to get purity of ice effect on my chest i think that's plus one and if i were to get my purity of ice 23 that would be also uh, i think that would push me to 90 actually how i would get my purity of ice to three well i'd want a plus one all spell skills weapon or a plus one all spell skills amulet then I would want gloves with a prefix open for plus one, and well, bam, we're done. Other option is getting, like, I think, boots? I can get some Legacy of Fury boots, maybe the plus two, but I don't know if they have... Yes, yeah, plus two, plus two AoE gems? Oh, plus two AoE gems might actually work as well. I'd, I'd have to go see. Anyway, that's pretty much about it for that. So, um, in the meantime, I'm going to show you what I've been farming. So, I'm currently doing a tier 16... Crimson Temple setup. It does not have to be Crimson Temple, right? Uh, I've been farming essences right now. I say I've been farming them for money, but I haven't, I haven't sold any of my essences. They're just sitting here, right? 
So I'm basically doing a uh, sextant because I'm on Crimson Temple. Uh, fully completed here. Actually, yesterday we knocked out everything. Uh, sorry I didn't get you guys any clips. I just haven't really had time. We did Maven really early on. We did Maven like almost three days ago, so that was pretty fun. All right. Just gonna remove that. Clearing might be a little slow because I have the stupid 50% life is a yes mod. And also for people wondering about the the like life loss, right? Because I'm at like 3.7k life. It's still fine. Melding is very strong. We still have a lot of damage to come since our awakened gems we're using are still very low level. Like level 1 awakened Ellie Focus, level 2 AoE, and level 2 burn. Oh, I've also opted out to throw a ritual on here just to kind of see how okay a ritual is so at the moment my atlas is very much all over the place uh, I'm, I'm trying out ritual to see I tried out beyond earlier and boy was I not a fan of beyond mainly the problem I had with beyond is you have to actually roll it on every single map if you really want it to be there which is just far too much work for me I want less investment into juicing at this stage and more investment into just I want to kill mobs. Oh my god, can we stop with the I mean like I like fractured items but shit. There's so many. There's so many. <laughs> Wait, skitterbots, what are you doing? Oh, my skitterbots were being stupid. They were hugging over here. Wondering why the boss only had a 7% shock on him. Powered Elements. One day I'm going to memorize what all the Arc Nemesis mods do. I'm not sure when that day is, but one day it will in fact occur. Okay, what am I missing? What? What? Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, also, I guess if you guys are gonna look at my character after this, upgrades I want to get from here 
since I finally have my melding of the flesh secured now and I have the gear for it, now I think is the time to potentially work on a new helmet. Um, I could definitely get some much better mods on my helmet, even like plus one. I also really want more AoE and a little bit more damage. So the damage is going to come from my Awakened Gem slash a new weapon. Slash, I'd say a new amulet, but it's hard to replace my current amulet. Um, so other places I can get damage. I mean, like I was saying, I can get my Awakened Gems level 5. Getting my Awakened Gems level 5 would be 2 plus 1s, which is pretty, that's pretty big. Um, then I have to work on, like I said, getting a potential new helmet to swap my uh, Righteous Fire to my helmet and actually use Fire Trap as my chest piece links. That, that setup, though, requires pretty much full Awakened Gems, and I think even Empower 4, so that one is uh, a bit expensive to get set up. Oh, on a side note, I've also been delving for the first time in ever, so delve has been pretty interesting. I found uh, two all Crystal Kings so far. Been able to face tank the first one without melding, and we got melding set up, so... I imagine the second one is going to be pretty easy as long as it doesn't have a crazy mod. Uh, Delving's pretty relaxing. I don't know how much currency I make, but I imagine it's not too bad. I mean, the boss skills are pretty good. Um, more so the reason I'm Delving is so eventually when I restart in SSF this league, I'm going to have something to do because the current state of Harvest Crafting makes it kind of hard to like farm your gear, I would say. Then again, Delving is also very time consuming, so I'm just not too sure. All right, let's see what we have here. I'm going to take the Chaos and the Scour, and then probably just the... Let's take the Pristine and re-roll. Um, I mean, I guess I could just take the Fuse. I know I shouldn't have re-rolled there, but oh well. Yeah, let's take some of that. Okay. Oh, well, that's pretty much the character for now, boys. So, like I said, I... I'd like to get some more damage. I would like to get some more AoE. That would make the character feel better. Uh, and yeah, also two points. Two points for this build is pretty big for damage. I know that seems like a meme because I'm level 97, but two points, I get another jewel socket, and jewels are always very massive damage. Um, there is technically one more thing. Technically, I think. Ashes is even more BIS now, and I could be wrong, but I'm just looking at the skill tree, right? I can't drop this because I need reservation, but technically if I had an Ashes, I don't see why I could not drop this whole entire section here. Like, literally all of it, right? You also notice I spec'd out of Barbarism. That's because with Melding of the Flesh, we're scaling our max cold res, not our fire. Um, and I just didn't have any nodes left. But yeah, I would be interested in potentially seeing how I drop all of this, and I'm pretty sure it would be getting an Ashes, getting the reservation to be at least, what, that's an 8 there with a with an 8 there, so at least 16% reservation. And I think I can just literally cull this whole side. Uh, so by doing that, though, you're going to drop a bunch of armor. You're going to drop armor again from Aura Effect Scaling, uh, and you're going to drop a lot of max res, but... It does allow you to go into a second cluster jewel for giga damage for RF. So that is that is potentially the choice there. And then also I can get a lot of my max res back from my gloves and my chest piece. But it's all about a balance to be fair. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much about it. So hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day, but Mondays at twitch.tv slash pox. See you guys later.